mighty mountain man of legends they do tell. Travis Henry, Travis Henry, the legendary mountain man, you all should know him well. Travis Henry, Travis Henry. So I just crossed from way over there. You might be able to see two guys, like one there and one there crossing. We came across here and back and then I'll show you this little spot here we crossed also. And from here over. The water's a little cold just in my boxers. <laughs> I had a pair of socks on for uh, shoes. So guys, I went ahead and crossed the river to get me some birch bark for uh, fire later. Hopefully I can get fire. It's supposed to be raining even right now, to be honest with you. We'll see. There is a beer can that I found. Uh, the top it was kind of crushed, the can was, so I cut the top off and then I kind of opened it up. And it was just, you know, absolutely nasty inside of it, so I took some sand and pebbles and cleaned it out. Okay guys, <clears throat> this is knife only and it started. It started right there uh, once we got out of the vehicle and then I had to cross the creek as you've seen. Um, found that container when I was on the other side of the river and what I got for my knife is my striker scout we're allowed to go ahead and take two knives, one smaller, one bigger, and then I'll take and show you down here. This is a diving sparrow. Um, as you can see right there. And I got, uh, I went ahead and had this drilled into there for a bow drill fire. So, I need to go see if I can find a spot for shelter for the night. Go ahead and pan you back up here, guys. Because night's going to come soon enough. It's definitely overcast and it's supposed to be raining, so we'll see. I'm going to put you guys away in the dry box. See where I think I'm going to set up my camp. And I've got this fallen tree right here. You can kind of see it's holding itself up. It's a cedar, guys. I've got this huge cedar here. Now you won't be able to see much of it, but it provides a slight canopy for me. And then a, another cedar right there, kind of right over top of where I'm at. Um, I've got another cedar right here. So that will give me um, some stuff to work with for fire. And, um, well... I don't have a lot to clear out right here where it's at. Kind of a slight plus. Um, I got some of this vine material here that's hairy for some tinder. And I'm going to take and walk you over here. There's my camera stand for all this. And show you there's water over here. A creek running through over here. It's very beautiful here, guys. Very, very beautiful. There it is. <clears throat> How much better can I get it? Feels like I'm in heaven. Yeah. Uh, one of the other guys already seen a bear track. And I think I mentioned this red bud tree here, which those buds are edible. Just like they are. So, I got something to eat, guys. Already. I see some other wild edibles out here on the ground floor. And it's starting to pour, so I need to get shelter going and I need to get my rain gear on.
Oh boy. Might not be a lot of filming because I'm going to have to keep this camera dry, guys. Have fun. So I found that Coke bottle there. I don't know if I showed that already. But that's an addition. I'll show you what I got so far, kind of. Definitely not even close to being done. You can see all the cedar boughs. And yeah, you can see daylight through them. But there should be enough on there to catch the leaves when I throw the leaves on. I kind of started to put some leaves on. The rain's kind of slowed down a little bit. I'll take you around to the other side real fast to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like so far. And then I gotta get busy, guys. So this is the back side of it, and I'll kind of walk up a little closer so you can see. Can't tell the daylight as much from this side. But there's some leaves that I just started with. It's gonna take a long time to collect leaves without something to put them in. There you go. You might not be able to see a lot, but I was going to show how we're get, how we're getting the leaves here. Just kind of do the boot rake. Whew, big old spider right there. Not like there's a ton of leaves, you know, but definitely enough that I can rake up a a decent pile enough to. Make a trip and go throw it on the shelter. Rolling. I'm going to try to do a hand drill fire here. Um, I don't know, I just feel more comfortable trying it. I'm sure once my hands start hurting, then I'm going to switch over to bow drill. But we will see. I would like to have fire tonight, but everything's so wet, you know, from it raining. I'm going to go ahead and See if I can get it to start making uh, some dust for me. Like I always say, I'm heating up the board. I'm really dehydrated guys and I'm really tired. I'm about to just make a seep well and drink out of it. I should have been trying to collect some water while it was raining and I was just too busy thinking about trying to do the shelter so I didn't do it. I'm gonna work on this for a while guys. I don't want to waste it on a bunch of battery. So I just did bow drill. There's my notch. There's my ember. Um, my spindle is horrible, guys. I mean, I was just trying to get away with it. I'm getting pretty dizzy when I stand up now, dehydrated. I'm going to get this fire going, guys. Uh, so I'll be doing any filming. Uh, this is important. All right, guys. I got fire. I got to do some little fire maintenance here. I'm starting to get cramps really bad. I need to do some cleanup here. Um, I got my um, can right there boiling. That ember that you guys seen on camera was not the one I actually got fire from. I actually had to make one more ember. Uh, the other one blew out in my tender bundle. And what I ended up doing is sticking a, a uh, my tender bundle kind of on the ember and then blowing it into flame. And that worked way better than sticking it in the tender bundle. So there you have it. I got some water. I'm trying to get to boil now and see how that works out. I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to take it off the fire. 
without burning myself. I guess I'll just lick my fingers and pull it away or I don't know. Maybe I'll try to make some kind of tongs or I just really don't know right now guys. I'm more concerned with trying to get it to boil because I need something to drink so bad. I'm, I'm like really dehydrated at this point. Haven't had anything to drink all day and been working pretty hard trying to do the shelter. I really should have been collecting some of that rainwater. Well, that's what you get when you're working hard and you don't think. I don't know what time it is. My camera says it's 6.30. I'm hoping that that's kind of right. I don't really know. I had a tick on me just a minute ago. And I tried to pull it off. It was right there. Where that bite mark looking thing is. Um, he did have time to latch on. I should be wearing some long sleeves, but... It's just so hot out here. Uh, it's supposed to be 80s and it feels like it's definitely 80. It's so humid. Um, got my fire going still. I uh, put a big log, kind of a big one, next to it to kind of get it to slightly dry out. And uh, if any big rain comes, it'll help keep it, keep it going. Got my can boiling again. I've done two batches and it, it isn't even one a beer can full of water worth. So I'll show you over here, I tapped a, a grapevine, I'll show you that, and I gotta go collect some more water from the river, so I'm gonna go do that at the same time. Alright guys, here's the grapevine. It's not a huge one, here's my hand for comparison, about two fingers wide. And, you know, going up the tree, way up in the canopy, but uh, here's it's dripping, you can see that. It's actually dripping in two spots. Let me see if I can get that in frame. Yeah. And I got a decent amount of water right now. It doesn't look like a lot, but that's... I mean, it's not a lot, but it, it's definitely more than I had. And that's really good water. I mean, it's very good. Give you guys a view of the river down here or actually it's a creek sorry you can kind of see that yellowness over there that's the sun just highlighting the tops of the trees because the sun's starting to go down and I'll give you a shot where I'm kind of at right here and then give you a shot downstream it's freaking awesome guys absolutely awesome place so what I'm doing right now is I I just got this uh, oh, what is it a coca-cola bottle believe it or not there was somebody had used it as a spittoon so anybody that knows me really well this is really hard for me to do but you know what I'm thirsty I tried to rinse it out as good as I could um, so I'm gonna get me some more water She's full. Now I'll take this water and transfer it into my um, can and boil it. That's what I've been doing. And then I'm getting my sips to get a little bit more, some nutrition out of that uh, grapevine to kind of supplement because I can't boil a lot of water at a time. It's, uh, you almost can't keep up. Guys, I found another can. Uh, this one's in perfect shape. I'm gonna go ahead and try to take my knife and slowly open this top up here so it'll keep its shape possibly. Uh, my other can was just smashed flat and I kind of cut the top off and then spread it out and it has a leak so I only get about that much water so I'm hoping that I can boil that much water now. We will see. I uh, don't want to mess it up. These things are really thin guys. But man, I ain't gonna lie, I'm glad somebody threw some trash out here. <laughs> It's really helping me right now. On the fire, so you can actually see something. Um, seemed like darkness kind of came fast, but I don't think you can quite see it. But 
these are some massive logs that uh, I just happened to yeah, find out here. It's cold and hard. I did get some sleep at least. Let's say probably seven hours. Waking up often just to stoke How's the that? fire. Didn't show making it, but I made me a rabbit stick. It's, you know, armpit to fingertip. Just in case. <laughs> little thumper here. I kind of peeled the bark off some. I want to do a little bit more to kind of make it slightly white. That way it yeah, sticks out when I throw it. It's 10 o'clock on day two. And I'm working on making myself a debris bed. I've got that side there. Um, well, with a decent amount of leaves. I still have to pack it down and whatnot. Uh, still got a lot more leaves to collect. It's kind of hard to collect it in these areas here because of all the vegetation, but, you know, slow and steady. And uh, it's still 10 o'clock, but uh, I decided I'd go ahead and show you. These are the logs that I found. Uh, yesterday from I guess the logging operation that went through here at some point in time in its life they they were kind of rotted sorta um, but obviously good enough they're still lasting from all of n last night and then uh, you know 10 o'clock today so I'm hoping that a lot of that or at least half of what you see there will still be there tonight so I can at least get through the night with it so good best part about it is it's so cool and it has like a just a real slight sweet taste to it very slight so this is what I've been eating guys the new shoots off of the green briar they're really like asparagus limp but just right off the plant kind of have an asparagus -y like taste to them So you get to the part where it starts getting a little chewier, then I don't eat that part. Not bad. I kind of want to go explore. It's just, uh, it's naturally for me, I'm kind of curious. So I know there's some overhangs up ahead here, so I'm going to climb up. Way up there and uh, walk it and see what happens. That's a pretty nice little ledge there. So this is one of the spots I found up here. Seems to have a nice little overhang actually. It's not too bad. It's just another neat little spot that you could cubby back in it looks like. The rock's fairly loose, so it's not something I'd probably really take unless I had to in an emergency. This is part of that same spot we were just looking at. You see a pretty good fissure all the way through, clear up to the top. So here's a natural spring coming out of the side of the, the hill here. I'll show you the top of it. I know you guys don't like me moving around a lot, but it's, none of it's flowing up top there. It's only coming out of this layer, right there. It's dripping, and uh, we, we only collected the dripping part, but it's flowing through here and down through here and whatnot. Seeing this nice bright red flower, I thought that was kind of cool. There's nothing else out here that looks that red. So I found this neat little white flower also. Looks like a duck. It kind of does. Then uh, 
we've been snacking on some of this wood sorrel mm. right here. Pretty good. So I followed that creek all the way down to where it goes into the river and this is kind of what it looks like. It looks like you could probably paddle a little bit in there, but you know, probably couldn't go too far. It starts turning rocky and sh got some shoals. It's just one of those beautiful days. Here's the outlet of that creek right here. And then uh, you probably can see right over there where the water runs down some shoals over there too. Check out this freaking huge frog that one of the other guys caught. I mean, that thing is freaking bigger than my hand, guys. How awesome. He's, it's still alive and he's got it tied up. <laughs> Live food never foils. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm at two days without food and I'm freaking hungry, so I had to get me a snake. Um, ran across him and... It was a quick kill, trust me. It's one of those things that I don't really like snakes, but I just, you know, I stay away from them. But when you're as hungry as I am right now, you just about eat anything. So um, I got that beer can. I put some water in it. I cut it up into little medallion sized pieces, and I'm boiling it right now. So we'll see. I need to. Rinse that snake off again, and so when I go to cut it up again, it'll uh, be clean again. Kind of, it was pretty long; it's about three and a half feet long, something like that. Well, guys, uh, this is the end of day two. It's about seven o'clock. Sun is definitely setting. Um, I got my fire stoked up again. That log that I had yesterday, I still have half of each of them. So I'm going to keep those. And I found this one here. And that one was so hard to get over here. But, uh, whew, what a day. I hiked up to the top of the hill there and uh, got my snake and ate most of that. Feeling good. Got to do some knife maintenance. Well guys, it's day three. And now I'm starting to get a little bored. <laughs> There's uh, I got my firewood all collected. I got my shelter done and uh, had snake yesterday. I've been eating a lot of wild edibles uh, like spring beauties, clover, uh, wood sorrel, um, green briars, um, spiderwort, um, Solomon seal. Uh, had some plantain. Can't think of all of them. <laughs> uh, brushed my teeth this morning with uh, some sassafras. And uh, yeah, I'm thinking about crossing the creek just to kind of, I don't know, go scouting. Just give me something to do, kind of, you know. But I'm going to go get a drink over from my grapevine that I've got going over there and yeah who knows how the day is going to go if I see something I might uh, whack it with my rabbit stick just give me something else to eat but freaking A tomorrow we uh, get a little bit more gear we get a container a saw a ferro rod and a little cordage in our fishing kits so I'll be living high on the hog once that happens Oh, and we get a poncho. So, just be no different than camping here, really, other than we got to, we'll have an easier way of getting some food, fishing. But, yeah. I'm going to go 
go uh, play around, guys. So guys, this is the spring beauty that I've been eating. You can see the flower, how it is. Of course, there's some more that haven't bloomed yet. You follow the stalk down, and then we have grass-like blades on it. And then you can't pull on this to get the, get the little nut, but uh, you have to dig really softly. And uh, see, it's barely attached down here. I don't know if you can see that. But this is the nut. See how it's still attached to it? But all you do is just take the, clean it off, and uh, crack the skin on the outside of it and eat it. It tastes like a kind of a sweeter potato, kind of a starchy. It's very good. And it's a lot of work kind of to get it, but I think it's kind of worth it. It's like a little treat. I'm going to eat this one. Solomon Seal? I'm uh, collecting my water right here out of the side of the mountain here. This stuff is good, guys. Really good water.